Oh my gosh, Olivia, isn't he so cute? Oh, he's so cute. This is the same pet store I got my guinea pig from. Doesn't that one look just like my poppy? They could be twins. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> There's so many animals there. I'm gonna ask my mom to get me. Hey girls. Hi, Hi mom. I see you still haven't cleaned up your room. Don't worry about that. You have to see this puppy. Isn't he so cute? Yeah, he's pretty cute. Like super cute, like cute enough to buy. And you don't have to pay for anything. I already have the money saved up. I don't know. Having a pet is a lot of work. You can't even keep your room clean. How in the world are you gonna take care of a pet? Mom, those are two different things. Come on, please, can I get a puppy? Please, I'll take care of it, I promise. Hey. If you can prove to me that you are responsible enough to take care of a pet, then fine, yes. How am I gonna do that? We don't have a pet. Well? You know, I'm staying with my grandma tomorrow. You could watch Poppy if you want. Really? If I can show you that I can take care of Poppy, can I get my own puppy? I guess. Yes! But on one condition. What? You have to clean up your room. I'll get to it right away. Thanks, Mom. You won't regret this. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <sighs> this has everything you need to know about taking care of Poppy. Uh, when to feed him, when to change the hay in his cage. Got it. <sighs> this is what Poppy eats. Do not feed him carrots. He doesn't digest them. Got it? Mm-hmm. Raquel. What? Did you hear what Olivia just said? Yeah, something about guinea pig food. See, this is why you're not ready to have a pet. You're not even paying attention. Relax, Mom. I was just taking a couple pictures. Don't worry. I got this. Are you sure you don't want me to go over anything? No, I've got this under control. Besides, if I need help, I've got this. Okay. I love you, Poppy. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks, bye. Have a great time, Olivia. And tell your mom I said hello. I will. Okay, Poppy. Ready to come out and play? Uh, you really need to read this. There's a lot of stuff in here. How hard can taking care of a guinea pig be? I'll read it later. Smell, Poppy. Oh my gosh, we got a guinea pig? Yeah. Just for a day so we can see if Raquel is capable of taking care of a pet. I'm leaving Poppy's instructions right here. I'll be upstairs if you need me. Do you need help with any of these things? Raquel. What? Can't you see I'm taking selfies for my story? I think you should probably read over some of these things. Ugh, not you too. You're acting like Mom Junior. I'll be in my room. Wait, I want to play with him too. Disgusting. Raquel, is everything okay? No. Raquel, come out here. What? I was on Instagram Live. Did you let Poppy run around the kitchen? Yeah, but I was watching him the whole time. Why? Come here and look at this. What's that? It's poop. You clearly weren't watching him if you don't know. Also, did you clean out the bedding in the cage? Uh, what are you talking about? I guess you didn't read the care instructions either. Because if you did, you'd know. Here, it's all put together. Also, it's almost Poppy's feeding time. Thank you, Anna. At least one of you is responsible. <sighs> Look, would you please get off my back? I know what I'm doing. 
I was just about to feed Poppy. What are you doing? Don't you remember what Olivia said? Uh, yeah, I think. Poppy can't have carrots. It's, it's all right. Feed him this. To be honest, you're not off to a good start, Raquel. Look, it's my first day. Get off my back. I'm gonna feed Poppy now. And what about the poop? Can't you see my hands are full? It's okay, I'll clean it. There you go, all good now. Honey, it's not your responsibility. It's fine, I don't mind. Hey, hey, I just wanted to... You still haven't cleaned your room. No, I'll do it tomorrow. In case you forgot, I've been taking care of a guinea pig all day. Raquel. Look, Mom, I've managed to take care of an animal all by myself today. I've never done that before, so please stop being so hard on me. Okay. You're right. I'm sorry. I know this is your first time so I'll try not to be so hard on you. Anyway, I just came to say good night. Good night, Mom. Can you turn out the light for me? Sure, honey. Good night, Mr. Poppy. <laughs> Raquel. Hey, Raquel. What? Why are you waking me up so early? It's Poppy's breakfast time. Is it okay if I feed him? Yeah, whatever. He's right there. Wait, what the heck? He's not there. Are you being serious? Yes. Poppy, Poppy, help me. Okay, uh, Poppy. 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 Maybe he went outside? You guys lose something? Uh, no, uh, we were just, uh, wh why is the door open? I always open the door while I work out. And why would you do that? To let fresh air in. <laughs> What's going on? Look, we lost. My phone. We lost my phone. And you're looking for it outside. Yeah, I'm just retracing my steps, you know. Wait a second. I know exactly where it is, Mom. I'll be right back. One sec, Mom. Found it. Yep, found my phone. Silly me, false alarm. Okay. Did you need help feeding? No, 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 I got it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna actually go use the restroom. See you later, bye. You're acting funny. I hope everything's okay. <sighs> oh, and Olivia's mom called. They're picking up Poppy in a few hours. Did you hear me? Raquel! <sighs> that girl. You guys feel your heart rate going up? That's good, let's power through. Twist. You need to call Olivia right now and tell her what happened. No way, I can't do that. You don't have any other choice. She's going to be here soon. I'm going to go tell mom. No, 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 just give me a second to think, okay? There's nothing to think about. Poppy's missing. We need to tell her. Not if we find him first. I'm gonna Google how to find a lost guinea pig. I, I don't think- Hold on, I've got an idea. This guinea pig looks exactly like Poppy. I'll just buy him and pretend like it's Olivia's. You have to be out of your mind. That's not going to work. And like mom tells us, what happens in the dark always comes to light. How are they gonna find out? Olivia said it herself. Poppy looks exactly like that guinea pig. They're practically twins. Okay, even if no one finds out, that still doesn't make it right. 
Whatever. What are you doing? I'm getting the money I saved up for my puppy to buy the guinea pig for Olivia. You're not seriously thinking about doing this. Look, Anna, you're my sister, and you know the sister code. We can't tell each other, so please, don't say anything. I'll be back. It's open. Hey, guys. Hey. Poppy. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. I hope he wasn't too bad. No, not at all. Uh, honestly, taking care of him was a piece of cake. <sighs> Mommy missed you, Poppy Poo Poo. Did you miss me too? Uh, maybe you should just play with him at home. I mean, I would hate to leave her mom just waiting in the car. <laughs> okay. Let's take you up. What happened to your foot? Is there something wrong? Uh, yeah. Um, Poppy has a big black spot on his right foot, but I don't see it. And why does he look? This isn't my guinea pig. Where's Poppy? Uh, uh... Raquel, explain yourself. I'm so sorry. Look, I fell asleep without locking Poppy's cage, and when I woke up, he was gone. The door was open. I think he escaped. What? I can't believe you. Whose guinea pig is that? Well, look, I bought another guinea pig hoping that Olivia wouldn't notice. I know, I'm sorry. I was irresponsible, and now Poppy's gone because of me. How can you do this to me? You lost my guinea pig and you didn't even tell me? I know, I know, I'm sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to tell my... What was that? Oh my gosh, Poppy. I was so scared, I thought I lost you. You found him? But uh, how was this even possible? Do you want to tell her or should I? Tell me what, Mom? Well, you see, this morning when I was making coffee, I looked at the floor and who did I see? Poppy. I was gonna wake you up to let you know, but then I thought, why don't I see what you do? So I never said anything. Instead, I asked Olivia's mom to come over to pick up Poppy so that I could teach you a lesson. So you see, Poppy never really escaped. He's been with Olivia's mom ever since this morning. Wow, I can't believe all this happened while I was asleep. <sighs> I'm just happy everything is fine now. Oh, it's far from fine. Not only did you lie to us, but you tried to switch Olivia's guinea pig without telling her. You need to apologize to Olivia. I'm really, really sorry for lying, Olivia. Yeah, well, you really hurt my feelings. You can keep the cage. I've got another one at home. Let's go, Mom. Are you sure you want to leave? I'm sure. My best friend hates me. Well, you should have known. What happens in the dark... Always comes to light. That's right. I'm glad you learned your lesson. So, what are we gonna do with this guy? Uh, well, the store guy said there's a 14-day return policy so we can take him back. Hmm. Even though I shouldn't, I feel bad. You did buy him with your own money. So, you can keep him if you want to. What? Really? <laughs> no, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, having a pet is a lot of responsibility. Wow. I, I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> 
So, should we return him then? Yeah, let's go. Hey, where are you guys taking Scrappy? Scrappy? Yeah, that's my new name for him. Well, Raquel said she wasn't ready for a pet, so we're gonna return him. What? No, no, I can't lose Scrappy. Can I keep him, please? Uh, well, she is a lot more responsible than me. <sighs> Fine, you can have him. Yes, thanks, Mom. Come on, Scrappy, I bet you're hungry. Should I get the carrots? I'm just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, come on. Oh my gosh. And for this prank, I'm gonna use pliers to deflate Lexi's tire. She's gonna be so pissed she's late for work. Bro, he's crazy. Why are you still studying? Uh, because our exam is in an hour. What? That's the day? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Shoot! If I fail another exam, mom is gonna kill me. How could you forget today is our big- I don't need a lecture right now, okay? Gosh, I need to find a way out of this. Um. I know! What are you doing? I'll put Howard on this towel and place it on my forehead so mom will think I have a fever. Don't you remember what happened when Mikey tried that? That's not gonna work. Okay then, help me come up with something else. Boys, let's get going. Oh no. Uh... What are you doing? Those are mom's keys! Shh. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, yeah, why? I know that look. And it usually means you're up to something. Uh, no, why would you assume that? Anyways, we better get going. I, I don't want to be late for school. Yeah, you don't want to miss Mr. Patterson's exam. Have you guys seen my keys? I, they were right here. Nope, I haven't. Isaac, have you seen them? Um, uh, maybe you should look. Upstairs! I, I think about it. I believe I saw them upstairs. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, and there's work being done in the house. Do not touch any of this stuff. Okay. Nothing ever gets past Mom. You're gonna get caught. Not this time. Mom's never gonna find these in the trash. Jay, don't do that! Oh, and I just did, and you better not say anything, or else. Every time you try getting out of school, it never works. It just gets you in more trouble. I'm not trying to get out of school, smart guy. I just need to stall mom long enough until class ends at 9.30. If she can't find her keys, she'll just call an Uber. She's not gonna let you miss this test. Not without her phone, she won't. Then she'll just use the tablet. Give me that! You really think she's not gonna wonder why the keys, phone, and tablet are missing at the same time? Ugh, you're right. I need a better idea. Pliers! What are you gonna do with those? Don't worry about it. Yes, um, can you push back my meetings? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It's been one of those mornings, you know. <laughs> Jay! Mom, hey! Isaac and I have been looking all over for you. Where have you been? 
I was looking for the keys by the car in case you dropped them when you came home from work yesterday. Then how would I have gotten inside the house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have thought of that. So should we go inside to keep looking? No, I got a spare. Let's go. Oh, OK. We're going to be late again. I hope you guys aren't late for your exam. Yep, too bad. I was studying and everything. What is that? Uh, I think your tire's low. What is going on today? We, we should probably pull over, Mom. Hmm. You know, we're only a few blocks away. I know a shortcut. I think we can make it. Are you sure? I mean, it could be dangerous. Yeah, of course. These tires are run flats. They can go another 25 miles before. Ah! What was that? I think your tire popped. Oh my gosh. Can't you see I just broke down? Oh my gosh, so many people. You boys stay in the car. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Are you sure you don't need any help? No, sweetheart. I'm sure. Now you stay here, okay? That's probably a good idea. Oh my gosh. What's going on? I got a flat tire. Oh man. I'm gonna be late for work. Do you have a spare? I have a donut thingy, but I don't know how to change a tire, do you? No. Look, I'm sure one of these cars will know. Why is there so much traffic coming through here? You haven't heard? There's an accident on the freeway, so they're detouring everyone through here. Oh, no. Well, I guess I'll go ask someone for help. Ha! <laughs> Class has already started. Don't tell me you have something to do with this. Is this what you went outside for? What are you talking about? I was just looking for the bees. Mm-hmm. And what do you need the pliers for? That's none of your business. It doesn't even matter. We're still going to get to school before class ends. Changing a tire is fast. That's all right. Now all I need to do is tell Mr. Patterson that there isn't enough time for me to finish the test, and he'll have no choice but to postpone it. And the best part of it all, Mom has no idea about any of this. <laughs> I'm a total genius. I have a bad feeling about this. What does Mom always say? What happens in the dark always comes to light. Well, not this time. Well, that should just about do it. Thank you so much. That was so embarrassing. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's a good thing there was a mechanic waiting in line, huh? No kidding. So was it a nail? No, I didn't see a nail. It's kind of weird. These are run flat tires. They shouldn't deflate like that. I thought so too. I noticed that the little cat was missing. Do you think that had something to do with it? No, the cap is there to protect the valve from dust, debris, that type of thing. Someone had to let there on purpose, sort of like with a screwdriver or a plier. Hmm. I see. Come on, lady, we ain't got all day. Okay, sir. I better get going, guys. Thank you so much. Don't sweat it. Bye. <laughs> Oh, here we are, guys. So sorry we're late. I'll call the school and let them know it was all my fault. That's all right. Even though it sucks, these things happen. The important thing is we're all safe. Mm-hmm. You don't have any idea how my tire got a flat, do you? Uh, no, no idea. Maybe there was an air leak or a nail in the tire? No, there wasn't a nail. The mechanic said the only way this could have happened is that someone did it on purpose, like with a screwdriver or pliers or something. Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense at all. Who could possibly do that? Anyways, we, we better get going. We don't want to be even more late for school. Mm -hmm. You're right. Have a good day, boys. Bye. Hey, wait a minute. Why does your hand have grease all over it? Uh. I was looking under the car for the keys, remember? Mm-hmm. I just find it strange that you were the only one by the car, and a few minutes later, 
my tire mysteriously went out. Are you positive you had nothing to do with that? Uh-huh. Why in the world would I purposely flatten your tire? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. To get out of a test? I don't want to get out of it. I told you. I, I studied this time. I I'm actually really sad I had to miss it. Anyways, I got to go. OK. Bye. Oh, Jay! Mr. Patterson, what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be in class? Oh, but you wouldn't believe it. We had the worst traffic jam on the highway this morning. I'm just getting here. That would be my fault. I'm sorry about that. I was the car that was broken down. Oh, well, thank goodness you're okay. Yeah, but I still feel bad for making everyone late. Even Jay was saying how sad he was for missing your test. <sighs> yep, too bad. I was up studying all night too. But I guess it's always next week. Oh, don't worry. The traffic jam made everyone a little late, so we just moved our schedules around a bit. What? We're still gonna take the exam. What, we are? Yep. Well, it's a good thing you did all that studying, huh, Jay? Good luck. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, hey, what's this? You might want to leave these here. Pliers? Jay! We should start studying before the history test today. Well, we won't be taking the test today because the three of us have a basketball game. What do you mean? The game's tomorrow. Not according to this notice, not. <clears throat> Please let Mikey, Derek, and Jay out of school at one. They have a basketball game today. Yours truly, Mom. Yo, smart thinking. I did not want to take that test. Yo. Good looking out, man. Bro, I got you. Let me see that note. Your mom didn't sign this, you did! Quiet! Morning, teach. Are you trying to get us caught? Let me get caught anyway. Especially because this note looks so fake. What are you talking about? Let me see that. First of all, you signed it, Mom. No parent would ever sign it that way. Oh, he's got a point. Fine, I'll make a new note. We'll leave you off of it. Don't forget what your mom says. What happens in the dark will always come to light. <laughs> Whatever, have fun at class, loser. We'll be at the plaza eating pizza. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yours truly, Mrs. Miller. Both of you have a game. Yes, ma'am. It's too bad. The last thing we want to do is skip school. Why does this note look like it was written by a 12-year-old? Uh, because... Oh, oh, his mom works at the hospital. Yeah, that's it. You know how bad a nurse's handwriting is. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. I got this prescription yesterday, and I can't read a single word on it. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Given your track record, maybe I should call your mom just to play it safe. No, don't do that. Why not? You hiding something from me? No, 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 not at all. It's just that, um, um, um yeah, didn't you say your mom was working at the ER today? Oh, yeah, that's it. She's probably operating on someone right now. Yeah. You wouldn't want to risk a person's life just because my mom has to answer a phone call, right? I guess not. Hmm. Well. Good luck at your guys' game. Thank you. See you on Monday. This is the life. Everyone else is taking the test. We get to relax and eat pizza. Man, I wish every Friday could be like this. So, what should we do next? I brought my iPad. Minecraft? Yeah. Let's, dude, hmm. dude, what? Isn't that your dad? What the heck? Come on, let's go. Can I help you boys? Of uh, what? Uh, yeah, can we try this on? But that's a girl's shirt. <laughs> that's okay. 
He likes to dress like a girl sometimes. Right this way. Get off of me. You wanna get grounded? Come on. Only one person's allowed in at a time. But he needs me for emotional support. Thank you. Phew! That was a close one. I like to dress as a girl sometimes. Seriously? What? I had to say something. Why not say you wanted to try it on? Well, if I'm being honest, between the two of us. Ah! Dad? You are in big trouble, young man. And so are you. Just wait till your dad finds out about this. It's not what it looks like. We had a half day of school. You see. Miss Seeley? You were saying? What's the matter, Mikey? You can't think of any more lies? How did you find us? I went to the hospital to fill my prescription. That's when I happened to run into your mom. When I asked her about the game today. Your mother had no idea what Miss Silly was talking about. Then she showed your mother this. I can't believe that you made up a fake note and signed your mom's name. I'm sorry. It was all Jay's idea. What? Mine? I'm the one that tried to warn you what happens in the dark always comes to light. No, you didn't. You're the one that said- I don't want to hear it. Let's go. Wait, how the heck did you know how to find us? Like, where? Well, I guess you forgot about the time you misplaced your iPad and we set up, find my iPad. Are you serious? And don't think you're getting out of taking that history test. I already talked to your teacher and we arranged a time for the both of you to take it tomorrow. But tomorrow's our basketball game. Well, it's too bad you didn't get it done today, huh? Jay, I'm taking you home and we're gonna have a little chat with your dad, okay? Let's go. Man, Come on. sucks. <laughs> Hey Derek, how was your game? Great, I made the winning shot right at the buzzer. What? We won? That means we're going to the playoffs! Yes! I've been wanting to do this. Don't too. even think about it. Yeah, the only place you two are going is home. Yep, and we already told the coach. What? No, please! We've been working so hard to get to the playoffs. You can't do that to us now? Oh, basketball isn't the only thing we're taking from you. That's right. No Minecraft, no PS5, and no more play dates for either of you. Really hope you learn your lesson this time. Ugh! Spoof! It's my OCD. It's just something made up. I'm sorry, I just saw one more spot. I get a little anxious when things aren't in order. This is what I've been dealing with all day. Pack up your things and go because you're fired! <laughs>